All right, we tip things off with college basketball. The College of Charleston making the short trip to the Myrtle Beach Invitational to face Vermont this morning. 1130 AM tip off. Grab some coffee and here we go. Back and forth game midway through the first half. Good ball movement. Ante Berzovich finds a cutting Bryce Butler coming up right here for three the hard way and the foul. He had eight in the first half. Cougs lead by five at that point. Then more good ball movement by the home team, our home team. Benny Buckets in the corner, three for him, his 10 in the first, pushes the lead out to eight. Later, Ante and C.J. Fulton, little two-man game. Berzovich has the lay-in, the college by nine at recess, 36-27. Second half, more from the big man. He's spinning and winning. Ante leads the Cougars with 14 off the bench. Nice move off the glass there. The college led for the entirety of the second half until about 3.06 left. Then, all Vermont. TJ Long from Long Range gives the Catamounts the four point lead. The college falls to one and two on the season with a 73 64 setback in Conway. Now, Dan Fanny is standing by live in Myrtle Beach. He joins us from the HTC Center. And, Dan, the college, as I just said, and you witnessed this, they had a lead throughout much of this game and just couldn't hang on. Yeah, I would say not. Uh, Coach Pat Kelsey mentioned in the post game, there's about eight or nine things that you could point to why they got beat. But the number one thing, not blocking out on Vermont free throws. That gave Vermont that one point lead, about three minutes left. Now, CFC led by five with five minutes to left, but Vermont went on a 20 to six game to end the contest. CFC falling again by nine after the contest. Coach Pat Kelsey talking about the one thing that they could not do, beat them. Page one, sentence one, is don't give up freaking offensive rebounds on free throws late in the game. There's eight or nine other winning time things that we didn't do, that we need to do. Again, ultimately, that's on me. I'm the coach. Um, uh, uh, um, so I own that. Always do. I never, ever, ever blame the kids that's on me um, we harp on it we preach it but uh, obviously I, I don't think I've harped on it or preached on it enough so once again CFC not making enough winning plays down the stretch to come out with the win CFC dropping their second straight ball game coming up at six what else coach Kelsey had to say on the loss another thing that CFC has struggled with in the first three contests of the season for now reporting live in Conway Dan Fanning news 2 sports